lobes and poles so we'll just recap the different lobes for the diff uh, to make the different lobes we need to draw the lateral sulcus and central sulcus here we get the parieto occipital sulcus and we here we get the preoccipital notch and connect the parieto occipital sulcus and preoccipital notch extend the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus to the first line so the this one is the occipital lobe this is the parietal lobe frontal lobe and uh, temporal lobe so these are the four different lobes of the uh, over the suprolateral surface of the cerebral hemisphere in the lateral sulcus of sylvius it starts from the inferior surface and it uh, the stem is lying over the inferior surface between the uh, frontal lobe and the temporal lobe it has three ramae anterior horizontal anterior ascending and posterior ramus central sulcus of Rolando which starts from the medial surface and it is about 8 to 10 centimeter it passes obliquely and it just ends before the lateral sulcus it makes an angle of 70 degree with the median plane now about the uh, different sulci and gyre sulci are the depressions and gyre are the elevations so this is the outer border we have the anterior horizontal anterior ascending and posterior ramus of lateral sulcus the central sulcus precentral sulcus in the frontal lobe superior frontal sulcus inferior frontal sulcus this is the intraparietal sulcus in the parietal lobe temporal lobe we have the superior temporal sulcus inferior temporal sulcus the supramarginal gyrus angular gyrus the lunate sulcus collateral sulcus parieto occipital sulcus postcentral sulcus now the different gyrae are the superior frontal gyrus middle frontal gyrus inferior frontal gyrus the precentral gyrus postcentral gyrus the superior parietal lobule, inferior parietal lobule, the pars orbitalis, pars triangularis, pars posterior, superior, that is supramarginal gyrus, angular gyrus, the superior, middle and inferior temporal gyrae. So this is all about the different important, uh, important gyrae and sulci over the supralateral surface. On the inferior surface, we have collateral sulcus, the occipitotemporal sulcus, dividing this area into three parts. The medial most is the parahippocampal gyrus. This is the medial occipitotemporal gyrus. This is the lateral occipitotemporal gyrus. This is the olfactory sulcus, which lies beneath the olfactory stria. This is the olfactory stria. So, that is olfactory stria and uh, the or orbital sulcus, the collateral sulcus, occipitotemporal sulcus. Over the medial surface, we have the cingulate sulcus, the colossal uh, sulcus. So this is the medial frontal gyrus or prefrontal area. The central sulcus starts from the medial surface in the middle of this uh, cingulate sulcus. This is called uh, paracentral lobule. Paracentral lobule. And that is the precuneus, cuneus, and lingual. Now we will just revise the different sulci and gyrae one more time. So this is the outline. The lateral sulcus, it has anterior horizontal, anterior ascending. We have the central sulcus. This is the pars orbitalis. And here is the anterior horizontal and anterior ascending. Between that is the pars triangularis. And this is the pars posterior. Now in front of the central sulcus, we have precentral sulcus. Posteriorly, we have postcentral sulcus. So, this is the precentral gyrus, precentral gyrus, and here is the postcentral gyrus. Now, in the frontal lobe, we have two 
horizontal sulci, one is the superior frontal sulci and inferior frontal sulci. Dividing the area into three parts, this is superior frontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, inferior frontal gyrus. In the parietal lobe, we have the postcentral sulcus and intraparietal sulcus. This is superior parietal lobule, inferior parietal lobule. In the temporal lobe, we have superior, parietal, superior temporal sulcus, inferior temporal sulcus, dividing the area into three parts superior temporal gyrus middle temporal gyrus and inferior temporal gyrus and uh, over the upturn end of the posterior ramus we have uh, supramarginal gyrus over the superior temporal sulcus we have the angular gyrus and here is the lunate sulcus, here is the calcarine sulcus coming onto the surface and here we get the parieto occipital sulcus from the medial side. Now the functional areas of the cerebral cortex, uh, different people have attempted to divide the cortex into uh, different areas according to its function. Uh, this is Campbell, Broadman, Economo, Watt, and but we are uh, following Broadman's area of 52, a 52 areas. Uh, that is, uh, 52 functional areas are there. Now, these areas are broadly we can classify into the sensory motor areas, motor areas, sensory areas visual areas and auditory areas. In each area we have primary motor area, premotor area and prefrontal areas. In sensory also primary sensory area, sensory association area and higher association area. Visual area also primary visual, visual association, higher visual association area. Auditory area, primary auditory, auditory association area, auditory higher association area. So these are the functional areas.